Surprise! That's right. It is Budokai 2. Now, in the effort of not taking too long, I only have three months after all, we're moving on to the next game since we finished the story of Budokai 1. However, I will say at this very moment, do not be surprised if possibly later you see more Budokai down the line in a different aspect. That's actually why I separated them as their own thing and didn't just make them all one thing. So, welcome to the road to Sparking Zero. We continue on heading into the future with the next installment in the Budokai series. For what the Budokai game did, this game took to the next level and it set the groundwork essentially for what would be Budokai 3 possibly the greatest fighting game ever in Dragon Ball history except for when Spiders came out. Of course Infinite World took that and made it shinier but not better. We won't be playing Infinite World here we're just going with the straight Budokai's. Now you won't see it here or you won't see it when I play it but Budokai 3 had a lot, and I mean a lot of potential. You had cancels, you had combos for days, you could do all types of cool stuff. Infinite World took that away because they, they got rid they didn't really know what they hit gold with. And they did that. But we're gonna start a new game. That music is the same though. Beep boop boop beep boop boop boop. Oh my god, it's not even playing. So the classic music is back, that's good. I obtained a Dragon Ball Z game, wow, amazing. You can only have one memory card, only one memory card allowed. That's it, we are in the game, look at that. It's like the last one, but with more fancy music. Become Goku, you and your friends together will defeat one enemy after another. Dueling, face off against a friend or computer. Enter the world tournament and aim for the world championship. Build yourself up through practice and training. We ain't doing that. Outfit characters with new skills. Buy skills in the skill shop and create the strongest character. Change game settings or save or load game data. We're going to Dragon World, which is the story mode for this game. We're going we're jumping right on in. Is there a voice? No. I guess I'll take over the role. Ahem. Long ago, seven Dragon Balls were forged, which, when gathered together, would summon the Eternal Dragon to grant a single wish. Oh, okay, I didn't know what time limit. For over time, the allure of the Dragon Balls has attracted a host of powerful villains. In order to protect the Earth and to prevent the Dragon Balls from falling into evil hands, Goku has thrown himself into battle. Very slowly. And always, he is fueled by a single burning desire to be the best. Hi, I'm Goku, and I'm gonna be the best. That's right, Budokai 2 took a whole different scenario on the story mode. So, this is the planet. This is voice here. Is supposed to be. Nappa's here. Yeah. And those Dragon Ball things have to be on this planet as well. Oh, no. First, how about we exterminate the people on this planet with the Cybermen? Ha ha ha. This soil should grow some fine Cybermen. Reddits, you hunt for Kakarot. I'll search for the Dragon Balls and deliver them to Master Frieza. Fine, it's done. Nappa lost his accent, I'm afraid. He's no longer from New York. However, this game starts with a what if. Get the Dragon Balls before Nappa. You can pick anybody. Look at all these people you can play as. I think if I remember correctly, you have turns and once these people die on the map, they're done. I can play as Goten to make no sense of the story at all. I think just for the sake of the story, we will not play as Goku apparently because that's not an option. I'll play as Gohan. This is okay. Oh, there's Goku right there. So yeah, if you remember, 
This looks like a little something they kind of took from Budokai. I uh, can only go here. Oh, I'm right here. Goku's right there. Of course, I'm Gohan. I am adult Gohan in the story mode. That makes sense. I've got a Dragon Ball. I'm Goku and Gohan. How nice. Oh, you know you like to do it. Yeah, it's a little bit different. So they went a whole different path than they did in Budokai, which is like hardcore cutscenes, cool scenes from the show. No, not this time. We're going to boost Goku up. We'll just have Gohan fight. Yeah, you can't win. You know, when I said Gohan, I was assuming it was the young Gohan. Defeat the enemy. Oh, that's what... Now, a lot of people actually didn't like this, to my knowledge. I can spin! woo -wee. Spinning! When I was a kid, I loved this, by the way. I thought this was so cool. It's a different turn, too. I had moves, but I don't remember what they were. So they took away your capsules on the screen, so it looks a little bit nicer. Visually wise. Movement stuff feels a lot faster as well. Also, the biggest change, as you see here, was the cell shading. They completely changed the design in this game. Ow. Get a jackhammer smash. Yes, I am a dope Gohan. I will defeat Raditz in Nappa. <laughs> As is in the story. I actually forgot about this. So this kind of game is kind of a one big what if. I won! Scouter. Or photo notes for characters. Can only be used by Rata, Nappa, and that's not... Who's Rata? And Frieza. Basically people who use scouters. You have health bars. You have two lives. At least in this scenario. We're gonna make Goku broken. Also, the enemy, even though he was stupid and didn't. The enemy can also pick up these items, if I remember correctly. Oh, I know. I know what I'm doing. Got a little Mega Man animation there. We're gonna let Gohan take on more Cybermen. He's gonna go for the Dragon Ball. It's not nearly as fancy as the first game, but personally, when I was a kid, this was crazy to me. Like, I loved every second of it. I remember playing this and being so enamored because the first Budokai game I didn't own, I owned it eventually. But the first game I didn't own originally, I played it at a friend's house. This game I actually bought. Funny enough, I bought when I was younger by cleaning my room. Jordan Peterson would be proud. But that's how I played it and I bought this game and oh man did I put a lot of time in this game. You can put a lot of time in this game. That's what I'm saying. This series is going to be special in the way that not every series is going to be the same. We're just going to go through the main story. Maybe I'll come back around later when it's not exactly Road to Sparking that we'll keep the name. Because the game will be out. But there's so much to do. There's literally probably three months of content in this game alone. Unlock items. Very nice. So in Budokai 1, I didn't show it. But you could only unlock items through the story and the shop. Oh, Raditz wants to fight. What have you guys come to this planet for? What are we here for? We came for the things you call Dragon Balls. What's a Dragon Ball? Everyone on this planet, that is. Lend us a hand, would you, Kakarot? Well, what a nice brother, trying to get him to what come in. What are you in. going to use the Dragon Balls for? So he's not opposed. Not come with us and join Master Freezer. 
So this Frieza guy's your boss, huh? Yeah, Goku learns a lot I in this story. Never join anyone like that. And what's more, my name is Goku. See, it's not super fancy, but they do have. I do, yeah, I slightly remember this. You do have uh, unique cutscenes with certain characters. I know, Kamehameha and King Kai Fist already? Dang, he ain't even died yet. Crazy. It's also crazy, it's still King Kai Fist. I think for the meme, I'm probably going to call it King Kai Fist when I play Tenkaichi and Sparking Zero. So get ready for that. I'm sure everybody will be super pissed. But you can see just by the gameplay and the, the chopping. What the hell? Brad, it's why do you always do this? You, uh, you have something in you that makes the game chop, I swear. Ow. It's not even Saturday or Sunday, Raditz. How do you have a concept of time? How do you have a concept of days? You're not from this planet. That's just a day crush. It's just a normal day. This music is fire, though. So this story is already a what if. I bet you don't remember this. Nobody really does. Nobody really talks about Tenkaichi 2. Tenkaichi 2. Look at me jumping around. Nobody really talks about Budokai 2, to be honest. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it. And Raditz is beat down. We're not going to beat him up. I'm going to try to get that Dragon Ball. Thanks for healing me, Dende. I guess just for that reason, we're going to go fight this Cyberman over here. You're a Cyberman! Look at his little crunch head. Can you talk for real? Oh yeah, I forgot that. He just says, eh. That's fun. I do love the fact that Goku never met Cyberman. So to him, he's like, what the heck is this thing? And they put in the voice work that he's confused by. He just talks like noises. He doesn't even talk in real words. But compared to the other game, this one looks a lot faster, right? Budokai 3, I feel even better, but... This is the game that kind of started the Dragon Ball series on its... What ended up being its normal cell shaded look from here on out. There's only one. Oh, there's never mind. Trying to taunt, it didn't work out. The movements are less stifled as well. You can go right into a combo if you miss it. But they do love to grab to block, I swear. Hey, you okay? <laughs> are you okay, man? So I don't know how we're gonna handle this. There's probably gonna be a little bit more editing out these fights or just speeding them up later on. Kabito's revival. Who's Kabito? Can only be used by Gohan and Supreme Kai. Now, I think you can't edit the character until you leave the map. Maybe, hold on. I'll take on the Cyberman. You can't win. Is this Gohan or Mystic Gohan? What the hell? He's not supposed to be that cocky. Yeah, I don't think you can edit this until you leave the map. Because I did unlock an, an item for Gohan. I'd like to put it on, but... So they went more of an RPG kind of style here. A little bit of a what if scenario where the story, I guess even in the game too, they're like, we can't just replay the story. Let's change it up a little bit. Something they probably will never do again, unless it's Xenoverse. I think Xenoverse has kind of taken that whole, we're going to take the story and change it type of thing going on. These normal Dragon Ball games, they'll, they'll do what ifs, but like Spark and Zero is going to have the what if option.
would be fun to make some what ifs and sparking based around the what ifs in these games. Oh my goodness. Give me a break. Give me a break, you loser. It's hopping around like he did something there. Great say, man. You're getting all these spoilers on all the characters in the game. Oh, they're protecting an item now, I see. We'll just let Raditz do his thing. Run like a fool he is. Only Goku gets a body. I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm pretty sure that this is the game Doken took from. Because it has the map, and there's been no other Dragon Ball game that does a map like this, except for this and Doken. So, I'm thinking that this is what made Doken do that. I guess for this, we'll do each video to be a map. That's probably the best way to do it. Come on, you little buddy. You ain't gonna fight anymore? Ow. Trying to give you a massage, man. Come on, be cool. All right, fine. No more of this. Ow. Ow. All right, now you're just spamming. I don't appreciate that. You're too small. Get away. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, give me that item you hid, buddy. Key control. I already had that. But I guess you need multiples. Oh, this is different. What we got here? Rage! Everyone can use. Attack power increases in the first 20 seconds of battle. It's pretty good. I don't know if we need to do all that. I'm just trying to save time for... Goku over here. Oh! Give me that ball! Alright! I got the Dragon Ball! Time to go looking for the next one! Why would you take credit for what your kid did? What the hell is that a fight? 